Okay, this is the um, Simco uh, model portfolio for this week, uh, December the 15th. Looks like 85% of the, the portfolio is in U.S. stocks and 15% in foreign stocks. So let's see what piece is the foreign. We have about 5% from the United Kingdom and 9% from developed Europe. So the first thing to note is the um, style chart here. 100% of the portfolio is large cap and we also have 30% that are characterized as value, 15% um, that are characterized as growth stocks, and then 55% that are core, uh, which would be, um, they would have attributes of both value and growth. So let's take a look at the sector split up. Um, it looks like the majority of our portfolio is in sensitive um, sectors. And we've pulled all of this mostly from the cyclical sectors. Um, we can see where the S&P 500s, um, 32%, 41%, 26%. But we have um, underweighted these cyclical sectors, for instance, basic materials, financial services, and so on, in favor of overweighting the sensitive sectors, most notably the energy sector and this energy sector actually has the majority um, weight in our portfolio at 36 percent. Also, um, if we combine the energy with technology and healthcare, um, these three sectors make up 71 percent of our portfolio. So that's, that's a pretty significant piece. And let's see how this stacks up against the S&P 500. So we have here um, our P.E. ratio of our portfolio. By the way, there are about 20 stocks in the portfolio, but um, on average, they make up about 13 price earnings ratio and uh, 2.27 times book. Um, the return on assets is about six and a half percent and return on equity is about 22 percent. We see here that the, the P.E. ratio and the price to book ratio are about 77 and 76 percent of the S&P 500s. So we're actually uh, purchasing the earnings and net assets of these companies um, at somewhat of a discount um, than rather than if we were to buy the S&P 500. In the same vein, um, our projected earnings per share growth over the next five years is about 13 percent. And that's about 15% higher than the earnings per share growth um, expected of the S&P 500. Looks like our dividend yield is about um, two times the yield of the S&P 500 at 3.4%. And uh, the size of our companies are sli slightly smaller than the, um, the S&P 500. So it's, our top five holdings are going to be Schlumberger, um, Total, CBS, Adobe and Exxon. Um, and you'll notice here that the majority of them are energy companies, for instance, Schlumberger, Total, and Exxon. Then we've got um, technology here and then some healthcare. So those top five companies mostly make up the 71% um, the of the, almost 71% of the portfolio we were discussing before. So we have 11%, 9%, 7 6 6 and you see here that the um, year-to-date return of each of these is, for the most part, either negative or about nil, except for Adobe, who has had a pretty good run here.